Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Shani and today I went down to Brixton to buy a few bits and pieces. Um, so I'd like to share that with you. So my first thing I bought was some coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil and it's cold pressed as well. Um, sorry, my camera seems to only focus on the direct thing in front of it. And excuse my lighting, the daytime is like slowly going. Um, it was £3.29. I've seen this on Amazon and stuff like that for like £12.99. Uh, Holland and Barrett, sometimes £15. Um, £3.29 from the Cash and Carry. Love it. Next thing I bought um, was the Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Uh, for one thirty nine, my hair absolutely loves this. Um, I believe it was one thirty nine because of the bottle. The bottle should be darkened, you know, because it's extra virgin olive oil. Most of these oils always come, you know, in a darkened bottle. So I think that's why it was cheaper. But I don't care. I'll just keep it in a dark place. It'd be cool. Um, yeah. Uh, next thing I got was some, which I've never seen this yet. I have to get it right. I don't know if you can see that, but it says um, pimento oil serum with black Jamaican castor oil. Lately, my hair has been just dying, but I haven't been looking after it. But the back of my hair has completely broken off. There is no hair there. It's completely broken off. Um, so I have to keep doing that. Completely broke off um, due to like stress. Uh, me not looking after it, no, you know, just not looking after it. So I'm going to try and keep uh, look after it this time around. And uh, the next thing I bought was some um, pure shea butter. Uh, the only reason I bought this one was because it was 99p. It was 2 99 but it went down to 99p. So I was like, why is it 99p? Is it out of date or something? You know, I couldn't see like a sell by date or nothing. So I was like, is it out of date? Or he was like, no, the line just hasn't been moving. And so they've decided to reduce it. So I was like, all right, cool. I wish I had smelt it when I was in the shop. Usually I smell things, but this I just picked it up and I just put it in my basket and kept it moving. I should have smelt it because it's got like a weird off smell. Like it's scented, but the scent just like disappears. Sorry, I know you can hear me sniffing. But it's just like, I don't know, I'm going to work with it because look, look at the consistency of it. It's like hard, like that whole big old press I just did. Look how much I got. I think after you cut through that layer, it starts getting a bit softer. But I will whip this, I will whip it, and I will add some you know, essential oils to make it smell a bit more pleasant. Um, if you'd like to see me do that, uh, thumbs up this video and um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you guys. Um, also, actually it's not, it's not too bad. You know, now that I feel it, it's, not, oh God, rumbles. It's not, um, it's not as greasy as the, like the yellow one is. So maybe this one might be okay, like an everyday butter to put on the ends of my hair because they are dying out, I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> the next thing I bought was for my homemade conditioner, which I like to mix with avocado, honey, sometimes banana, but a banana can be a, to get out of my hair. So, you know, it's good, but in that terms, I'm like, I have to blend it until it's almost like a puree, but then that's just, it's pointless. Um, I got some premium coconut milk. You get three of these little cans for one pound from the same cash and carry. As you can see, it's the same brand. I, do you know what? I never realized that it was all the same brand, like this one, this one and the coconut milk. Maybe that's why they were dead cheap. Like maybe this is a cheap brand. Like look out for Tropical Sun. They're doing stuff real cheap. <laughs> um, um, also, I got myself, I got myself some black African soap. I put it, I put it down somewhere. 
um, and I can't find it now but yeah I've got some black African soap which I'm going to make um, some shampoo out of for me and my son um, if you'd like to see sorry that my eyes keep going over there guys it's a new camera <laughs> is that viewfinder it's good and bad at the same time because it like makes you deflect from what you're actually doing i'm trying to make this video like nice and short for you guys like um yeah so the next item i went to mac which wasn't really a good experience consider i don't really buy um you know high-end makeup or makeup that i have to talk to anyone about do you know what I mean? Like they have to swatch it on your skin. I don't do that. I just do it all by myself. Well, maybe it's a bad idea that I'm doing that because I can't seem to get <laughs> my foundation right. I can't find the blusher. I can't find the bronzer. And probably because I haven't got the right bases, like, you know, primers and a good foundation. So me working ass backwards, I went into MAC today and I was like, you know, I've got a look. I need a finishing powder. She looked at me and she was like, which one do you want? And I was like, how the hell was this me? How? That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I told her. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to help me. So I just like palmed her off. I was like, I ain't even dealing with that, that one there. Yeah. <laughs> so the next girl came out. She looked really nice. So I, um, she actually approached me. I didn't even have to approach her. She was like, hello, are you okay? And I was like, I'm looking for a finishing powder. I've heard a lot about, is it mineral skin finish or something? Max mineral skin? I said I've heard a lot about it and I just wanted to see what it looked like and how it would look on my skin. I explained to her that I get super greasy, um, super oily, like I can't even say I get oily around the T-zones. I get oily all over, like shiny, shiny. If I put my makeup on at nine o'clock by one o'clock it's gone everything's gone apart from my mascara my mascara just about holds up but then you know i don't know what they've done to my maybelline mascara but they've changed the formula because it used to make my lashes really long and lately it's just clumpy and bleh. i'll show you which one it is uh, another day um so I told you I need a finishing powder. I just want to look matte. I don't want to have to, because in the summertime, you know, I like to sit in the sun, in the park. So I get a nice little browning coming on me. So I'm like, yes, the marks are looking faded because my skin's all one tone. And it just, oh, I love the summer for that. I love the summer for that. I don't love it because I'm, I get allergies, but I do love the sun for making me just one tone. It's just like, no need for anything but sometimes you still get a bit shiny so i just wanted something i could just you know powder my face and you know go out and not have to worry about doing this that and the other so she told me my best bet was sorry it's a bit shiny over here um is this i have to hold it like that so just blind you um it is a prep and prime cc color correct compact pressed powder and it is so much, you're going to hear my belly rumble in a minute. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, I don't know if you can actually, if I go closer, if you could see it better. The stupid camera doesn't auto focus. It still focuses on me. Look, see that? But you can see like it's a much peachier hue than it looks like back here. Um, so I'm hoping, yeah. When I put my little HD concealer, the little peach one, and, you know, cover up all this darkness around my mouth, um, all down here, like around here and uh, at the top of my forehead, put my foundation on, put this on top, woo, I should be, mm, I should be looking half decent. I'm going to try anyway, you know what I mean? But yes. Um, also, I asked her about their foundations. Uh, I thought they were a bit pricey, you know what I mean? Like £29.50, I think, with the match, the, the, the mat, <laughs> the match master something. Anyway, she gave me a little one like this. Um, oh, see the colour. It looks a bit ready. 
you know most of my foundations do have like a mad yellowy undertone and I'm just like no because certain times it looks nice it looks nice like in December when there's you know it's been cold for a while but when the sun starts coming out my skin just seems to just change like tone like one minute I'm yellow undertone then I can see like a bit of red so maybe I'm just like in between you know um yeah and so she gave me a little one of these and I will I'll probably film a demo because I've never used a uh, Mac before I think I've used it one other time face and body I used that oh we're talking like 15 years ago if not longer but yeah that was like the first high-end foundation I bought was that face and body and I didn't like it so I never went back to Mac the only thing I did used to always buy a Mac was their lip gloss like that lip gloss oh but it was just so bloody sticky so <laughs> stop buying it um but yeah and snack of the day for me today is some plantain chips got these for one pound Brixton love it got it for one pound um you can get the bigger one for two pounds but I found that if I buy the bigger one for two pound obviously I'm going to eat more and I don't need to be eating no more I need to lose weight yes I said it but you know <laughs> easier said than done I like to eat I can't what can I say eating's a pleasure for me you know what I mean so yeah and for my son because he's a bit sensitive in the skin which I think I'm just gonna make I uh, will try out the shea butter mix that I will do on him just to see how it is on his skin but I just bought some petroleum jelly but this one's really nice because it's scented lightly scented with um, cocoa butter you can see I do love like cocoa butter and coconuts and stuff like that That's, yeah so thank you for watching my video I hope it wasn't too long if there's anything you want me to um, do <laughs> that sounds so wrong <laughs> um any like videos you'd like to see me doing um please comment and uh, thank you for watching um my channel i hope you enjoyed my little mini haul um thumbs up my video if you enjoyed this and um put any comments down below make sure they're nice not too horrible <laughs> and subscribe and see you soon. Bye.